Hello, today I'm going to show you how to adjust the carburetor on a four cycle engine. Um, so, um, the symptoms of your carburetor being out of adjustment is that a lot of times your engine will run pretty rough, or sometimes it won't idle, or um, sometimes in very extreme cases your engine can overheat. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first we're going to look at the controls on the carburetor that you can use when adjusting it. So first thing you want to do is you want to find your air filter and the carburetor will be right behind it. And this um, engine here is a um, Tecumseh H30-3538. Um, it's an older engine, but um, all carburetors will be the same. So the first thing you have is on the side here, you'll normally have a um, screw that's located on the side like this one. That's called your idle mixture and it controls um, your ratio between gas and air that's going into your engine when it's idling. Now this screw under here, not all carburetors have this screw, but some do. And this is a um, mixture screw for your high speed. So when your engines throttle all the way up, that's your ratio for gas and air. That's the adjustment screw for it. Not all carburetors have that. Some of them are fixed and you can't um, adjust that. And the last one is this one right here. And that is your idle speed. So that will adjust um, your um, the, how fast your engine idles. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to warm up your engine using regular starting procedure and you're going to have your engine throttled all the way up <coughs> um, and then you this screw under here if you have one what you want to do is if what you want to do is you just want to turn it one direction and if it gets any worse then you're going the wrong direction so if it was running a little rough and I went in and it was got rougher then I'm going to screw it back out and you're just going to find a happy medium where it runs the best now if you screw it too far in one direction the engine will stall out and stop if that happens that's fine you just turn it the opposite direction um, until it gets better the screw right here is when you're idling so your idle, if I look over here on the throttle, your idle is not all the way down. There's a little notch right there in your throttle. So you're going to feel it and it will just click right in place. That's your idle speed. And you're going to set that with that screw right here. And if you turn it in, it'll idle faster. If you turn it out, it'll idle slower. The screw right here is your idle mixture screw. Um, it's the same as that one. It's just as idle. So if it's running rough, turn it one direction. Um, if it gets worse, turn it the other direction, and then you're just going to find a happy medium. Um, your engine can also stall out on that one, too, just like um, the one under here, but you just turn it the opposite direction. Alright, so now I'm going to start it up using almost starting procedure. So now I'm going to um, go for the high speed adjustment and um, I'm going to try to get it running the best. So now I'm going to do the idle screw. So that's about it. Um, I did not adjust the idle screw here because it seemed pretty good. Um, once again, if your idle was a little slow and it if it would die out occasionally, you'd want to screw it in to make it faster. 
That's that screw right there, and if you want to make it slower, you just screw it out. Thanks for watching.